Okay, so let's jump to this video and talk about working with our mass airflow sensor and the calibration curves in our GM Gen 4 family of ECUs. So whether we're working with an E40, an E38, or an E67 ECM, we're gonna be going in and calibrating the mass airflow sensor if we've made changes to the vehicle. We've installed an intake, we've installed cams, or force induction. It's going to require us to reestablish what the air mass coming in the engine is at a given frequency coming in from the mass airflow sensor. It's actually a really simple process. I'm gonna be walking you through the three different types we're gonna be finding in our programming. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our various mass airflow calibration curves and different operating systems for our GM Gen 4. So taking a look at our first example here, we're gonna find an E40 operating system. If we go here to our engine, we move in from general into idle into airflow. We'll find under here under general, our MAF calibration. This is gonna be where we do our tuning um, for our mass airflow sensor if we have any kind of discrepancies for the air mass that's being registered into our engine. So if we take a look here, airflow versus frequency low, airflow versus frequency high. Now this is gonna be different than the later GM uh, operating systems for the E38 and the E67. So this is gonna be a little unique this is uh, similar to a Gen 3 on some of the Gen 3 operating systems. So if we pop into the table here, airflow versus frequency low, we'll find that we have our mass airflow frequency. It's gonna be registered in Hertz. That's gonna be the raw signal coming out of the mass airflow sensor. So as the air mass is changing, so uh, we're driving around, let's say at idle, we're gonna be having reported lower air mass. And if we start to give it throttle, the air mass will increase, we have airflow, more airflow coming in the engine, therefore our frequency will increase. So we can find here, this is gonna be essentially just a lookup table. At a given frequency, it's gonna have a given amount of air mass that's gonna be registering. So for example here at uh, 2500 hertz, it's gonna be saying that we have 0.668 pound per minute worth of airflow entering the engine. So um, this is gonna be translating it and then uh, putting it back into our fuel calculation so we can figure out what kind of injector pulse width to send based on the air mass that's coming in your engine here. So as we drive, we'll find that we're gonna very quickly come out of this low frequency portion of the calibration table and move into the high. Now, if we click on the high table here, let's try to open up both of these if it's gonna allow me to, there we go. We are gonna find that this is a little bit unique in the way this implements this, because again, we have this low table and then it switches to the high table. Now, one thing I wanna note here is that we have this last breakpoint on our low table. That's gonna be here at 5,800 Hertz. We also find that this is going to be the same point 